Hello, my friends. I'm with my friend, Dr. Deepak Pandey, Sanskrit scholar. And uh, we were having a discussion on the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. As you know, uh, Schrodinger, Erwin Schrodinger, uh, described what is called the wave function and the collapse of the wave function. If you understand Schrodinger's equation, then you understand every atom in the universe. And uh, if you understand uh, Schrodinger's equation, you basically understand quantum mechanics. But the interpretation of quantum mechanics has gone through a turbulent history. Uh, Copenhagen interpretation implies consciousness as collapsing the wave function. So before the wave function collapses, it is entangled as infinite possibilities. But the moment it it creates a particle, something that occupies no location in space-time, suddenly, as a particle, appears in space-time as a perceptual snap. And of course, there are many schools. But remember, Schrodinger described it. And Schrodinger was also a student of Vedanta, he what is life, uh, which most people are not even familiar with, that was inspired by the Vedanta. And so I asked, uh, I asked Deepak Pandey uh, to tell me the story that is behind this explanation of quantum mechanics, uh, the, the, what I would say the Copenhagen story of quantum mechanics. Can you share the story yes, yes. of the there, dishes? There is very interesting story which uh, Irwin Swadinger himself has acknowledged in one of his writing. Uh, I, I think in 1927, he wrote that uh, I got the inspiration, I visualized this equation uh, uh, through uh, one uh, Upanishad mantra that is Tattva Masi. Tattva Masi, thou art you, or uh, uh, that uh, supreme wing is you, or anything. You, can, you are that, yes, I am that, all yes, this is that. Yes, Tattva Masi. Yes, Tattva Masi. Okay. That is that, okay. you can say. And it is very interesting a story in Chadak, Chandagya Upanishad. Chandagya Upanishad is a uh, very interesting Upanishad. And the story uh, is like that. Uh, there was a uh, very big uh, sage, uh, Pandit, uh, his name was Aruni Uttalak. Aruni Uttalak was the uh, scholar, big scholar of Vedanta and philosophy and other related aspects of uh, Hindu uh, whole cosmology, Vedic, thought. Vedic thoughts. And he has got one child, son. His name was Swat Ketu. But Swat Ketu was never interested in a study. He never wanted to study. He was always busy in plays and uh, wasting time in other activities. Arni was having a challenge that I am this big scholar and my son is knowing nothing. That's why instead of teaching himself, because uh, normally sons never give value to fathers. Uh, there is one uh, saying in Hindi that ghar ki murgi tal barabar. Yes, it is like that only ki one who is in home is never valued. Value. Uh, that's why Swatketu never gave value to Arun Uddalak, that he is a top motor scholar, I should learn from him. That's why uh, Uddalak called him that uh, there is one guru and you must go to him and he is very learned, he, his methodology of teaching is very interesting. Uh, Swatketu uh, agreed and he went to that guru, he learned a lot, lot of his scripture, he um, uh, learned all those scriptures. After that, he went to another guru who was having higher knowledge of those uh, books of various philosophy of Sanskrit. And after completion of that education, he came back to his home. And one day, uh, Aruni Utalak called him. And they both sat under a banyan tree, uh, ficus, you can say ficus group fig tree. tree fig yes, fig tree, you can call fig tree. And they both sat under that big tree. And there, uh, Uttalak uh, just 
and during their normal talk he wanted to know that from where we all came or we can say that he asked that my dear son have you been initiated into the knowledge that by which whatever is unheard becomes heard and whatever is unthought becomes thought and whatever is unknown becomes known have you thought over it then uh, since uh, ashwat ketu has learned lot of scripture he has read, uh, wrote uh, read lot of books he quoted some passages from those books but that was not the perfect answer ultimately he accepted the defeat and then he asked the father please explain me from where these uh, things happen and from where we came into the existence then uh, swet uh, udalak instead of teaching him with uh, lengthy lectures discourse and lectures he just uh, told him that from where this big banyan tree or fig tree came into existence then swet ketu said that from the seed of the, its fruit and udalak told him just go and pick one fruit of this fig tree swet ketu went he picked up one fruit ripe fruit and he brought to his father and there uh, udalak told that this banyan tree exist in this fruit he said yes it exist in this fruit because this fruit has seeds and when one seed will be uh, sown into the soil it will germinate and this over the year this big banyan tree will be created so this seed is the potential not only for one banyan tree but yes this in, fruit infinite this infinite banyan tree banyan tree. Yes, yes it's the promise of yes, thousands yes, of promise trees. of thousand then uh, udalak told him that you pick just one seed from this fruit he picked swetketu picked one seed from that fruit and he placed that on his palm and then uh, udalak asked him does this seed contains this big banyan tree then uh, swetketu said yes this seed contains the big banyan tree from uh, this seed it will germinate and it will become this big then udalak told him that you break this seed into several pieces and pick one piece of that uh, seed he did that and he picked just one a small piece of that seed and placed it on his palm and then udalak asked does this a small piece of that seed contains this big banyan tree swetke to say is a small piece of that seed contains banyan tree because so many pieces when come together create one seed and from that seed this banyan tree will germinate and it will become so big then udalak said that you break it further and then swetketu did that and very minute piece he said that just pick one minute piece and then swetketu picked one very minute piece on his palm it was barely visible and it could have been felt then uh, udalak asked does this minute piece of that bigger piece contains banyan tree then swetketu said yes this minute piece of that bigger piece which came from that one seed contains banyan tree and it will germinate that big and one infinite trees yes infinite in forest yes then udalak asked him that you break it further and do it very carefully and then swetketu did that by rubbing that very minute piece on his palm very vigorously and after some time of rubbing that piece and the feeling and that visual impact disappeared and there were there was nothing visible on his palm then udalak asked him you just pick one piece of that thing he said no uh, i cannot do that he said that you have dropped that piece he said no <coughs> swetketu said no i have not dropped it i know that it is here on my palm i know 
that I cannot feel it, I cannot see it, but I can definitely say that it is here. And from then Uddalak asked him, does this very invisible piece which you cannot see, which you cannot perceive, contains the banyan tree? So Ketu said, yes, from this invisible, that piece which is invisible, which cannot be felt, contains the banyan tree and from there this banyan tree can be germinated and created. Then Uddalak said, Tat Tvamasi, there comes the origin. You of, are that. Yes, All you are that. that. You are that. That, that is the whole thing. You are that. From and me, I am that. He is that. So that which cannot be perceived, that which yes. cannot even be conceived, yes. is the source of yes. yes, here comes Erin Schwartinger. Hmm. That is the quantum uh, theory that uh, what you are observing is according to your perception. And when you are observing a, an object, it collapses into that moment, it collapses. And that collapse thing you are observing. But you are observing it in the past. It has that moment has passed, already passed, and it must have changed shape in. Uh, and when some other is perceiving it, it will be different from your perception. So, my friends, first of all, we didn't make up this story. Okay, this is story recorded in ancient thousands times. of years. Thousands of years. Secondly, Erwin Schrodinger himself acknowledges this story as his thought process when he derived his equation, Schrodinger's equation, which basically describes all of quantum mechanics. So when we understand, and furthermore, what you observe has already happened. What you observe is the past. By the time you observe something, it has already moved on to the next collapse of the wave function. So, this is also the origin of the word Maya. What you observe is not reality, it is your perception of reality. In our case, a human perception. That which is inconceivable, that which is cannot be perceived, is ultimate reality. You are that. You are, you are nothing that can be perceived or yes. conceived. You are nothing that can be perceived or conceived. Therefore, you as that imperceivable, non-conceptualizable, formless, infinite, irreducible, shapeless, formless, gives rise to everything in the universe. And even as it does that, what you perceive is just a perception of the past. Yes. What that's why it's Maya, that's why it's the matrix, but it's not ultimate reality. The ultimate reality is beyond the matrix, yes, and that leads to another very famous very interesting, sutra. yes, very interesting sutra. I will recite it is from Iso Upanishad, and Iso Upanishad is a very small Upanishad, one of the smallest Upanishad in our uh, Sanskrit literature. And in fact, although our priest recited very frequently during various type of uh, rituals and puja. But when you see it from the uh, concept of quantum mechanics or uh, from the uh, scientific uh, angle. Uh, uh, consciousness. Yes, consciousness and creation of universe also, origin of universe also or origin of everything. This mantra, single one mantra tells everything. Mm -hmm. It is like encyclopedia of everything, yes. single mantra. This says Om Punna Madah Punna Midam Punna Punna Mudachyate Punnasya Punna Madaya Punna Mevaya Sisyate. It says that this is Pun and that is also Pun. Means this one is complete. Full. Yes, this one is complete where we are and that one is also complete. So that which is the source. Punna Midam. Idam means this one. Is whole, complete. Yes, yes. Punna means complete. And then that which expresses yes. itself. Punna mudam means that that one is also complete. Punnat, means punna se, punna ko nikalenge, 
पूर्ण से ही पूर्ण उत्पन्न होता है टेक फुलनेस आउट ऑफ फुलनेस एंड फुलनेस रिमेन्स यस सो इन्फिनिटी कैन नॉट बी कॉम्प्रोमाइज यस इन्फिनिटी टेक माइनस इन्फिनिटी इज इन्फिनिटी यस Infinity divided by infinity is infinity. Is infinity. Infinity multiplied by infinity is infinity. Yes. Infinity subtracted by infinity yes. is infinity. And this is the universe. And this, this is the universe. universe. So you are. This all Big Bang and everything happened in this infinity. Infinity only. And Big Bang. And when you uh, remove this universe from this universe, then that universe remains in. that place where from where you have removed it and when you place this universe in that universe it remains same so you and i as this experience yes we are having a finite experience yes yes but we are still infinite as we are having the finite yes yes as we as what we are being perceived we are not complete yeah because yes who we, we really are part are. of the bigger thing so this is related to tatva marsi also yes yes infinity cannot be compromised even though you appear finite in the corridor or what we should say the theater of yes. space time and causality that is the mirage that is the maya you appear to be finite but you are actually the infinite having a finite experience you are non local having a local experience you are a spiritual being having a human experience yes this is the meaning yes tatvamasi tatvamasi tatvamasi